Hello everyone and welcome to Boater Cooks Something. I'm really excited with this episode because we finally have our new camera as well as our GoPro over here. Oh, I'm gonna get that started up. Rolling! Okay, we're testing out our new equipment. We've got the new Sony Alpha 99 camera and we're also reprising the use of the GoPro this week. Because we're working with new equipment, I wanted to do something really basic, so we're going to do the basic recipe of chicken and salsa. I'm Boater, let's cook something. All right, ingredient board, what are we going to need for chicken and salsa? Chicken and salsa. That's it. Chicken. Salsa. I said it was a simple recipe. We're also going to be uh, preparing some sides with this. Got some rice pilaf and some corn. You can do these if you want to. We usually don't even do the corn over here, but um, I, I don't want to have it be a 30 second episode. So let's get started. Step one is to get a pot and start warming up your salsa on the stove. And we're putting that on a medium low heat so that uh, it starts to warm up but doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan. Keep stirring uh, with your non-meat hand as you keep going. And then, start cutting up the chicken. We've done this plenty of times before, so... Quick cut montage! Cut. We've got a plate of chicken and a pot of salsa. Make them one. That's it. You're going to let the chicken cook as the salsa boils. We're going to turn this up to probably about medium, remembering to keep an eye on it and stirring it, making sure that the pasta, the pasta, <laughs> that the chicken gets mixed in well, making sure that the salsa doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan, whatever. Now, I'm going to go on and do my sides. I'm not gonna show you those because it's a box of rice and a bag of corn. For Pete's sake, you can do this. I believe in you. Prepare your sides, come back. Once you see your salsa starting to boil as well, cover it up because it's gonna make a bit of a mess, but it's also a reminder to keep checking it more often. Because it's so thick, uh, it gets noticeably warmer on the bottom than on the top, so stirring it up is gonna help everything heat evenly as well. At this point, my rice is sitting for 10 minutes, and my corn is cooking for five, and then sitting for five. The sides make a really good timer for how long you should probably let this be sitting and cooking the chicken. Brought it back down a little bit to medium low heat because I can feel it starting to uh, stick at the bottom. Again, a non-stick pan is gonna help with that. Yeah, once you're like, all right, it's probably ready, make sure to check it, because you don't wanna have a surprise hospital trip. I stated my belief in you that you could cook sides. I did this because I knew I would invariably screw you up. Hello, flavoring pouch. That didn't happen. Corn's done, rice is still sitting. I think it's a good time to test our chicken, so let's find a nice big piece. You'll do, you're chubby. If you want to use a plate and cut it up, whatever, you can do that. I'm just going to do this the safe way as opposed to how I normally do it, which is biting into it, which uh, I've done before. And I've also established before that, well, don't do that. Yep, that's cooked. My rice is mostly done, still has a little bit of moisture, but at this point, everything else is ready. Time and tide, wait for no rice. Let's start serving everything up. Get a bit of corn, get some rice, a little more. Mix that up, get your rice and your corn as kind of a base right there, and then top with your salsa with all the chicken bits. Serve with some chips and you got dinner. Now obviously your chips are your primary eating implement here, but sooner or later you're going to run out of chips, so a fork or spoon is handy for you know, cleaning up and having some more. You're also going to find yourself with a lot more chicken and salsa than you will with your sides which is really nice because it means you have leftovers to have with your leftover chips. And then you have no more chips, so you get more chips, and then you have no more salsa, so you make some more. It's a delicious cycle as uh, put forth by others before me. Again, this is something that is really simple and easy to make. Um, if you get home and you're like, screw it, I don't want to cook, but I gotta cook something, chicken's out, make this really quick, done. So I hope you enjoyed what uh, you tasted today. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Um, remember to subscribe for more videos, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, the link's in the description below, and as always, I will see you next week.